reference image started add a cube uh let's go let's scale that yeah g g here you take these four corners we drag it here okay so we have our four corners add a add an edge loop we can apply some snapping and then line this up here so g z snap then y add another edge loop g z and snap and there you go so you have that little dent whatever and then we can go add in uh like this front piece so we add an edge loop i mean yeah so they control r screw this down scale it in add another edge loop z scale it in so like that and then we can move these edges like that so we get this little piece and then we can go to side view uh add in edge loop cut in half select these three back ones and scale it up like it does in the reference image that curve and then we can go add in a uh, slice so there and like that and then gx snap and then we can go well firstly let's just cut this in half with the control r and then cut uh, delete and then go add a mirror modifier okay so there and then we can go press v just uh to rip and then there and then we can go fill this in maybe just a j and then we make it a not a end gun well it's not an end gun it's four sided but stretched uh quad um yeah so there and you can see we have this little uh piece over here this little indent so we can go knife tool uh nav tool so that's k uh c to add go on a, a line like that and then we can go oh i cancel it so here c and then take off c there and then c again so we can get a straight line select this face and then extrude it in okay there and then we can go add in this uh, handle piece. So we go to set close to center, add in a uh, plane, scale X, scale Y, let's just rotate Y 90, and then this here, and then scale Y. like this okay and then gx and then snap it to the outside okay then we can extrude out and then scale z so we get like this uh yeah like this okay and then what we can do is we can add a cube like this uh add a cube scale down uh s y so we put this in here and then slot this in slightly and then add a array modifier and then we can change this to offset on the y like that and then do it for how many we need okay and then if we go through this part and then add a boolean and set the boolean to the cube then you can see we have these indents like that okay so then we can uh, add a mirror and you can see it's mirrored to the other side and then we can go shifty take off the mirror rotate y90 and then z and then snap it here uh then we get this snap in you can change the center so that we can get this to the center there wait no gx yeah there and then go back to closest gz snap okay so Let's bevel this edge. So let's go to front view, select these vertices, and extrude in. So there, so we have the grips on for the gun.
select this face of all these faces here and then shift D P and then we can go uh, select this face or we'll go, go back to object mode and select it and then we can go line this up and let's delete that one extrude Z to here and then G Y and then G Y or oh, we actually need to drag it up until it's at the top so like that and then gx uh, gy and then gy okay and then we can go add shift a add a cube and then put this over here and then do the same thing add a array set the y to what negative whatever and then we go drag this up gx uh with clipping like this and there we can go drag this in uh clipping again clipping there and then we can select these edges gx and press control to snap wait no to sx there and then we go add in a boolean and then select this one uh, select with these this cube okay so we need to uh sx and then we need to apply scale ah yeah you can see we have a face going in wait we have face ah oh, yeah you can see we have a face in the middle like this and a face so if we go control r h and we go select these face these faces hide them you can see we have a face down the middle let me delete that face uh delete these vertices alt h no no alt h don't delete the vertices and then you can see it does work completely fine okay yeah there so we can apply the boolean delete these and there you go okay cool yeah it is it is pretty sneaky um okay cool so that's quite a bit of the gun done oh, we can turn off the normals you can see it right now okay and then we can add in the stock so the stock is basically just a cylinder and then like a cube well, let me run cube. Um, so let's go add in a cylinder. Change the vertices to what six R X ninety scale scale shift Y, and then we go G Y, and then we go shift A cube, and then G Y snap it G Y. Root Z and then we can select these two bevel control B uh SX SX Okay cool so that's like the top part so there um I gotta smuddle the handle now so we can add another edge hoop and then extrude Z. So there. And then extrude. And there. Okay. And then we go GX. Oh uh, wait. Uh, I think we just G let's drag this in. And then GX there so r and then b for boundary so like that and then we can go shift d p and then this is for the magazine let me extrude this down like this i guess you don't have to do that you just drag it in like this and then scale it down if you want 
Uh, I guess we could just delete these, delete all these edges now. There. Okay. So we have it here. GX. Uh, GX. We can go. I don't think we need to add an edge group there. We can just go extrude scale. Extrude down. Like that. Okay. I think we just, just need to. No, it's fun. Whatever. Okay. So there. And then let's add in a trigger. So shift A cube. And then drag it here. And then here. Select this. Extrude. And extrude. So we can scale this down. So I'm using all to select the whole edge. And there you go, we have the trigger. And yeah, that's about uh oh in data barrel. So we can just go we need to duplicate this shift D R. So we just G Y uh there. G Z S shift Y to scale uh on the, everything but the Y and then we can go extrude scale extrude and then there you got the barrel and there you go you have a MPC you guys Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions, you can either go hop into my Twitch stream or join the Discord and get people to answer your questions. And yeah, hope you have a great day. Happy Blendering.